One fine morning in Bikini Bottom, SpongeBob and Patrick were hanging out in the living room. <sighs> I'm bored. Patrick, what do you want to do today? I know. Why don't we play a game? That's a great idea. What did you have in mind? I call it Among Us. Ooh, the title alone sounds interesting. How does the game go? Well, you take a group of people and pretend you're in a spaceship. While in the ship, you need to do these tasks, and you have to do every task in order to win the game. Wow, that sounds like a simple game. But there's a catch. One of us is an imposter who tries to sabotage the tasks and kill everyone on the ship. If he kills all but one person and there are two people left on the ship, the imposter wins. So basically Clue, but in space. What's Clue? Never mind, Patrick. Let's gather all our friends. Later that day, SpongeBob and Patrick gathered all their friends at SpongeBob's house. And Patrick explained the rules to the others. That sounds like fun. I'm in. Arr, I could go for a quick game on this boring day. I'm in. <sighs> sounds boring to me. But if it'll make the game go by quicker, I'm in. Everybody else loved the idea. Then it's settled. Let the game begin! The game had officially begun, and everyone was scattered around looking for tasks to do. Mrs. Puff was in the control room scanning the cameras. No imposter would be stupid enough to get me, she thought to herself. But boy was she wrong. Wait, what are you doing? No, stay away! No! Meanwhile, Plankton was doing a task. He went to the control room and saw Mrs. Puff. Mating! Everyone quickly gathered to the table. Where is it, Plankton? In the control room. Who do you think could do such a thing to Mrs. Puff? Plankton's looking kind of sus. Me? But I'm the one that reported it. I agree with Krabs. That does look like something Plankton would do. No, they're lying. I was doing a task. Sure you were. I vote Plankton. So do I. All those in favor of ejecting Plankton say aye. And everyone voted Plankton. No, wait. I'm innocent, I swear. Karen, honey, you believe me, don't you? I'll eject him. You traitor. Karen, I hate you. I'm divorcing you tomorrow. And Plankton was ejected from the ship. I just received word that Plankton was actually not the imposter after all. Barnacles, that means the imposter is still on the loose. Let's get back to those tasks, everybody. And with that, everyone resumed their tasks. This time it was Larry's turn to become a victim. If that imposter comes to get me, he's gonna get something else instead. What? No! No! And it was Sandy's turn to find Larry. Meeting! Once again, everyone was gathered at the cafeteria. Where is it, Sandy? The reactor. Oh, Daddy, we're all gonna die. No, we're not, because I know who's responsible. I never saw Mr. Squidward when I was doing me tasks. What are you saying? Oh, nothing. I just thought a certain cephalopod might have something against us crustaceans, that's all. What? Are you accusing me of something? Well, the way I see it, one of three things has happened. One, you did it. Two, you did it. Or three, you did it. All those in favor of ejecting Squidward say aye. This time the party was split, but the majority chose Squidward's ejection. No, 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 guys, you don't understand. It wasn't me. I've been framed. Squidward Tentacles was not the imposter. After Squidward was ejected, the gang went back to doing their tasks. But SpongeBob pulled Mr. Krabs aside. Mr. K, don't you think you're taking this a little too seriously? I mean, it's just a game after all. You're right. I'm sorry, me boy. I'm just having a little too much fun. But from this moment on, I will think before I speak. Okay, that's all I ask, Mr. Krabs. Hours pass, and many of the players were either ejected from the ship 
or killed by the imposter. At this point, SpongeBob, Patrick, Sandy, and Mr. Krabs remained. Before Karen got ejected, she transported her memory onto the ship so she could still keep track of what was going on. SpongeBob was trying to complete his final task when... Meeting! said a voice. Everyone reported to the cafeteria. Where's the body, you guys? There is no body, me boy. But Patrick here is acting kind of sus. Don't listen to him, SpongeBob. He's lying. He's trying to cover himself up. Hmm. What do you think, Sandy? I think Mr. Krabs is sus. What? I wouldn't do such a thing. I don't know, Mr. Krabs. I think Patrick's too dumb to pull something off like this. No offense, Patrick. Those in favor of ejecting Mr. Krabs say aye. Ah! Oi! And all those in favor of ejecting Patrick say aye. Aye! And I'm just gonna go for aye, because I don't want anyone to get ejected. No one was ejected that time, but then SpongeBob found Mr. Krabs. Meeting! And the three remaining survivors were gathered at the cafeteria. Where was it, SpongeBob? The reactor. I say Sandy's the imposter. Now you wait just a minute there, Buster. I didn't do anything wrong. And where have you been all this time? I was doing a task. You should try it sometime. SpongeBob, you could vouch for me, right? I don't know, Patrick. I think Sandy might be onto something. What are you trying to say, SquarePants? All I'm saying is you haven't been acting your dumb self lately. Dumb, huh? Oh, I'll show you dumb. Ugh! Why, you? And Patrick and Sandy began to fight. Guys, stop it! You're acting like a couple of animals! The two kept fighting and they accidentally ejected themselves. No! Patrick! Sandy! Patrick and Sandy were not the imposters. What? Neither of them were the imposter? And I'm the only one left. Wouldn't that make me the imposter? No, I can't go down like this. I just can't. And SpongeBob ejected himself out of the ship. SpongeBob was not the imposter. But wait, if none of them were the imposter, then who was?